Sometimes taking a thrall all the way back home is a pain, and you need something simple to build near your favourite farming spots. Today, in the Easy Base Edition series, we've got a thrall outpost. Of course, everyone knows you can just whack down a big box with a wheel of pain, but we're going to be making it a bit nicer. The requirements for this build are on screen now, though as usual, you can use pretty much any material you like. So without further ado, let's get started. I began with the base plate I showed you a moment ago, made of ceilings and held up by pillars. The first thing you want to do is get the Wheel of Pain down. I'm using the medium tier 1 with 4 slots as it's the best use of space for this design. You want to angle it towards the rear and adjust the height to go as low as it can. Try to get it in the centre as best as possible, which I didn't actually quite do the first time, but I did fix it. Then you can wall off the gaps between the ceilings with stone brick walls. Next, the interior walls. As shown in the blueprint earlier, this is essentially a large circle with two attached rooms skirting around the border of the Wheel of Pain. I used insulated wood and left a small border between the staircase and the base entrance. I then use sandstone fences to create a border atop the central walls. Next, the roofing. I used insulated wooden roofs and basically just followed the flow by using the appropriate pieces in reference to the tiles below. The side roofs are pretty easy, but the centre can be a bit troublesome. It's generally fine until you reach the segments where you need inverted corner roof pieces. You'll need to place ceilings that overhang that socket to allow that roof piece to be placed and then remove the square ceiling the piece was relying on. Fortunately, it will stay in place after the square is removed. From there, add ceilings to create a wide, shield-shaped hole in the centre above the Wheel of Pain. Throw some more walls on top of there with ceilings above, and then use roof pieces to cap off that shield and create a partial circular roof just below it at the front. With the shadow of the build done, it was time to decorate. Fair warning, this is going to be pretty simple. The main attraction, the Wheel of Pain, is already in situ, so we're going to make this place a little more self-sufficient. The first thing I did, as an optional decoration, is to add chimney segments against the walls. This is purely decorative, but makes the build look a lot nicer. Inside, we've got a little bit of space to play with. I added in the necessities, like a torturer's workbench and a preserving box for gruel. In one of the side rooms, I wanted to have a storage section. This will be for extra gruel, food and other ingredients, alongside any useful resources or items that you may pick up. For this purpose, I built a small bank of chests against one wall, threw a preserving box down, and I also opted to include a basic blacksmith's bench just in case you need to repair a weapon. In the opposite room, I included an armourer's bench for repairing armour, alongside a bed to serve as a respawn point, and some personal storage chests. In the central room, I also added a dismantling bench for breaking down any drops you don't want, and placed some warm yet gentle lighting around the base. With the outpost finished, the final product is pretty nice. I added a small doorway and rooftop segment to create sort of an entrance awning, and added some brief lighting and seating outside, but things generally remain the same. Inside, aside from some hanging banners, things are pretty much as we left it after the decoration phase. This isn't the prettiest interior, and the space is a bit tight, but I think we've made a pretty good go of it, and managed to turn something which is almost purely utility into a fairly attractive design. Of course, the best part of an EBA build is that this will work for almost any material combination you want. This is kind of Dan's personal taste, of course, but I think this design works pretty good for almost any option. Though this is designed as more of an outpost, I don't think this would look out of place as a part of your main base or inside your walled complex. And there we have it, a Thrall Farming Outpost as part of the Easy Base Edition series. It's been a little while since the last one, but I know you guys really enjoy these EBAs, so I'll be working on another one pretty soon.
Thank you for watching, and of course, a massive thanks to our wonderful, esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. If you have suggestions for future EBA builds, do let me know in the comments. I would love to tackle some more suggestions for this series. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.